means for us to have the freedom to be hungry. It means for us to have the freedom to be unemployed. It means to to, for us to have the freedom to die in foreign wars. The freedom to think that we are the authors of our own poverty. They think, they think that they finally rigged the game. That they finally stole the last iota of democracy with Citizens United. But they're wrong. They merely showed us that in today's America, democracy will not manifest itself in the ballot, but in the streets, in the picket lines, in solidarity with immigrant rights groups, with groups fighting for equality, folks. So we're going to show them what democracy looks like. So show me what democracy looks like. This is what democracy looks like. Show me what democracy looks like. This is what democracy looks like. Now, folks, other central labor councils from the FLCIO, along with mine, endorsed this rally, and they were going to come here. And but the buses, the buses canceled. The buses did not want to come in the in the hurricane. But the people did not cancel. The people are here in spirit. And each of, and every one of you are heroes and you're delegates for all of them. And now folks, give it up folks. Now the folks here, the organizers for the coalition to march on the RNC, they are not corporate funded and they need donations. So please, we're gonna be around the park with buckets. Please pitch in a little bit and help out. So folks, give yourself a round of applause folks. Thank you, Beto. Thank you, Beto. Another round of applause for Beto. Our next speaker is Sarah Flounder. She's from the International Action Center. Flounder is a longtime activist and leader in the International Action Center. She works on many campaigns involving the peace movement and is a very important leader against oppression and poverty and war. Let's give a round of applause for Sarah.